Bliss Uncensored, where there's 0% filter and 100% bliss. Welcome to my channel. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? My little logo here, it represents ripping off that tape and speaking your mind. And I hope all y'all are doing that because it is so important. Your opinion matters. Even when the person next to you says it doesn't, it does. So I'm pretty sure you all clicked onto this video because you want to know when and how I lost my virginity to a man. This was my young in days, obviously. Um, I'm not straight. I'm 100% lesbian and I'm very proud of that. It's crazy because I didn't even lose my virginity to a woman first. I lost it to a guy and it's only because I didn't know I was gay. Now, that's a whole different story, but I didn't know I was gay till I was a good 19 years old. It was shortly after I lost my virginity with a guy, okay? Shortly after. So I met this guy at work. He was half black, half Puerto Rican, and he was my first boyfriend, if you wanna call it that. We only dated for a good month and a half. It could have been two months. That's, all, that's how long it lasted. And no, we did not have sex. Uh, all we did was kiss and make out and just hang out every once in a while. I wasn't really interested in him like that. But I felt like I had to give somebody a chance, you know, and I was already 18 years old, maybe possibly 19. You guys, I started, I started very late. My first kiss was at 18. I didn't start dating till around that time. And I didn't know why, but now I know why. It's because my, my ass was gay this whole time and I didn't realize. This is why I didn't like the boys. This is why I didn't find them emotionally attractive or in any type of way because I was gay this whole time. But anyway, that's a whole different story. So I met this guy at work and I dated him for about two months. Then we had a new employee start and he was half white, half Mexican. A good looking guy, very handsome man. If I was straight, I'm just saying I would have a nice looking man, okay? <laughs> but I'm not. So anyways, they were good looking guys and they were cool. That's probably why I got with them is because I just, I just thought they were cool as hell and then, you know, let's give it a try. So this new guy starts starts work at our job and he's being very flirtatious and he knew that I was with this other guy. I was done with the first guy, okay? I was like, you know what, this ain't going nowhere so let me end it with you. And literally, I would say one or two weeks later, I ended up hooking up with the new guy. So now me and the new guy are dating, okay? Crazy, I know, and I felt, and I didn't feel bad at the time. So all three of us are working at the same job. Didn't feel bad at all. I just didn't. We had so much in common. He came from a family of eight, so did I. He grew up in a trailer park, so did I. And we you know what's even more crazy is that we share the same birthday, March 11th, 1985, even the year. So we were born on the same damn day. I don't even know what time he was born. I wonder now. I'm very curious now, but I haven't talked to him and seen him since then, and I was 19 at the time. I'm 34 now, so he probably has kids right now. He's a good looking guy. I'm pretty, he was not that hard for him to find women, okay? He was very sweet. Um, very nice, very respectful, and he's the first person that I brought up, that I brought to my sisters. So my sisters actually got to meet him, and they liked him. They liked him right away. Uh, he had a beautiful smile, nice white teeth. I didn't have that. I had vampire teeth. That's why I have braces now, if you can see. I don't know. He found me attractive, I guess. I didn't even fix myself up. I didn't wear makeup. I had my hair and always in a ponytail. My hair was about this long down to my down to my lower back it was very long and i always had it in a ponytail so imagine this my hair was slicked back always down with hairspray in a scrunchie and the rest of my hair was just flowing down poofy with no no type of product in it but for whatever reason this good looking guy really found me attractive so that was it we were together and we had a good time uh getting to know each other and everything and then we go over to his friend's house so it was me, him, and his guy friend. So there I am, we're straight chilling. I'm drinking my 40. I used to drink, um, I used to drink uh, King Cobra. That was my drink back then. All I needed was my, my 40 of King Cobra and I was good for the night. That's it, I'm little, it don't take that much for me to get a good buzz going. So I had my King Cobra and I forgot what he was drinking and his boy was, I don't know, I can't remember. But there we are, just hanging around. We're watching TV. His friend is on a chair 
watching the television. And I'm laying down with this guy, he's behind me. I don't remember exactly how old I was. I think I was 19. So I wasn't thinking sexual at all. But hello, my dumb self. He's laying behind me. He's gonna think sexual. And come on, he's young, he's a young guy. Not definitely not a virgin. And so of course he's gonna get horny, what the fuck? He's behind me and he's like, do you feel that? I'm like, it took me a second. I'm like, wait, feel what? What the fuck are you talking about? After he brought it up, I'm like, okay, I paid more attention. I'm like, yeah, I do. So, you know, he was erected, so on and so forth. So yeah, I felt it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this is CBD, by the way. I do not smoke THC. This is just to relax me. I have a lot of anxiety. Even explaining the story is giving me anxiety. I don't know why. Because I'm very, I'm an open book. If I, if anybody brings up a subject, I'm pretty much an open book. But I don't know. I guess I don't really talk about this to anybody. And I don't think my woman had, knows the story neither. But I don't know. Y'all get to hear it for the first time, along with my fiance. <laughs> then he gets up and he's like, hey, you know, come to the room. I'm like, okay, so I go over there. I know what, he's, what he wants to do now. Like, I'm not dumb. I may be young, but I ain't that dumb. So I go in the room and we sit on the bed. And I'm assuming it's his friend's parents' bed. No one was there at the house. So we go in the room and we're just hanging out. And this is the thing about this night and about losing my virginity. I do not regret it at all. And the reason why I say that is because he was a good guy. He, had, he was very well-mannered. He was very respectful. He was just a very nice guy. And I really believe, he knew I was a virgin, but I really truly believe till this day that he did not have me lose my virginity just to get like a point on his scoreboard. I really don't think so. I really feel like he really did have feelings for me and he just wanted to take, he just wanted to take the next step with me and be intimate. I really truly believe that till this day. So there we are, he's taking off my clothes, he's taking off his clothes. And you know, of course, me being a virgin, I've never taken, I've never been naked in front of another man before. So this was new to me and I was nervous. I was a bit shy, like I didn't know, you know, <laughs> it was, I got pretty nervous. But he made me feel as comfortable as he can. One step led to another and we're having sex. Now mind you, it was not pleasurable, not at all. I was overthinking a lot. I was like, okay, what do we do? How do we do this? Where do we do this? When do we do this? I just had a lot of questions in my head. It was my first time and he led the whole thing, obviously. He knew what he was doing. I just followed, just following his lead. It first started missionary. Y'all know how that goes. And it was fine. It was painful like a motherfucker. He would stop every once in a while and ask me if I'm okay. And of course, you know, I would say, yeah, it just hurts. And then he would just go on and just let me know, like, you know, just breathe in, breathe out. He was very, he, it's like he really cared. Like he wanted me to enjoy the moment and not be so scared of it. <laughs> so he was trying to make me feel comfortable. I did what he said, you know, I started breathing in, breathing out, you know, just, being trying to be more calm and relaxed. It was crazy because the missionary move was did not even last that long, okay? It did not last that long. And he did the little bunny, you know, like the little hump where you're humping real fast and shit towards the middle. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> the missionary move was probably only lasted about, phew, I would say three, a good three minutes. And then he proceeded to like go on his back and then wanted me to go on top of him and ride him, right? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Why you have me up here? I don't know what I'm doing, this is my first time. I only was only on him for like a good minute cause I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And he was trying to direct me, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, come on, I, I've seen movies, so I know what a woman is supposed to do, but I haven't done it before, so I don't know. I think it was all these movies were a little bit too much. And then he went down on me for a few minutes and that was it, like it was so fast, so quick. I was overthinking a little bit too much. The whole thing probably lasted about 20 minutes, y'all. 20 minutes. And I stopped it. It didn't even go to, it didn't even go as far for him to like ejaculate at all. I stopped the whole thing. I was like, uh. It just was not for me. 
and it had nothing to do with him. It had nothing to do that he was a guy. It's just, I don't know, I was not into it. When everything was said and done, of course, he popped my cherries. So I'm over here bleeding in the bathroom and shit, trying to wipe myself and trying to get clean. I was like, oh Lord, like, what did I get myself into? I was ready to go. I asked my friend if she can come pick me up. And sure enough, she came right over and I said goodbye to him and left. By the way, <laughs> so this guy was on house arrest. So he has a little ankle bracelet. He's got a curfew where he's gotta be home on time, so. <laughs> the night was pretty much over. He went home and I went home. It didn't last that long, y'all. It was painful, it hurt. Don't know what the hell I was doing. Thinking too much. Eh. But I do not regret it. I think I lost my virginity to someone that actually cared and just wanted to get close to me, so. That relationship only lasted another, only lasted two months also, just like the first one. I don't know why, I dated a lot, but they only lasted about under two, three months too. And I don't know why. Like, it's like, I lose interest right away, it's crazy. And it's funny because before I lost it to him, we never talked sexual. Never talked sexual, but I guess it just happens to when you become sexual with someone, all of a sudden you can do the sex talk. You know, the phone sex and all that other stuff. But that wasn't me, okay? So pretty much the, the next, the following day, he called me and he's over here trying to have phone sex. Ah, uh, uh, mm -mm, I'm uncomfortable. Don't talk to me like that. Can we talk about something else, please? Whatever happened, happened. I don't want to talk about it. It's crazy because on our birthday, he actually bought me some lingerie. I am not wearing this stuff for you. And it was red and it was ugly as fuck. It was really ugly. I remember it. Oh my God. I don't know what he was thinking. I'm not wearing it. That ain't my thing. I was a little tomboy. I ain't wearing that shit. And I sure did not because that was the first time I lost my virginity to him and it was the last time I ever had sex with a guy. And that's a true fact, ladies and gentlemen. Now when it comes to women, I was very careful too. I, do not, I did not have that many sex partners. People have the stereotypes of studs being very sexual, player type, and all that good stuff, but that's not me. My body is a temple to me, and I only want to share it to people that I actually do like a lot and want to get close to and intimate to. It's not a game for me. I've only had five sex partners, so. It's funny because there was a comment on um, my reaction video to Damo's video with the, her and the stud being sexual, and the person that left the comment said, it's okay, we know that you're taken. You can actually say that you really, that you were really into it and all about, and all this and that. Listen, I don't get easily aroused by stuff like that, especially on, on a video. I really don't. It takes a lot for me and that ain't it. Okay, that ain't it. I liked the video, I enjoyed the video. I believe it was very artistic, but it did not turn me on. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it did not. Anyways. We're just gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this story time. There's gonna be a lot more. And I'm gonna be very open. So I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please share this video and all my other videos and my channel. And turn on your post notifications. All you gotta do is hit that bell. Make sure you also subscribe to the Bliss and Pris channel. That's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.